Now available on your home screen. In the thrilling relationship drama Fair Play, a sought-after promotion compels a young couple to confront the true cost of ambition and success. How did I get so lucky? Are you talking about me or your job? Okay, hey, sorry. We're getting married. We're getting married. I wish we could tell the whole world. It was a reckoning of sorts with uh, some experiences of the past. Um, it really came from this feeling I was having at a certain period of my life when um, when my success didn't feel like a total win. It felt like a loss on some level because of the relationships I was in at the time. We're going to have to tell them sooner than later. Morning. Morning. I think it's the right time to admit we're breaking policy. These relationships with men who, who on the one hand, like adored me for for my for my strengths, for my intelligence, you know, for for my passion, but you know, at the same time, there was also this feeling that they were threatened by the very same things that they adored me for. I hear you're taking over for Quinn. What? I overheard it on a call. It was never anything that was spoken about. It was just felt through tense exchanges or, or passive aggressive comments. And so I started to kind of undermine my excitement for those accomplishments in my way of protecting those relationships and not making these guys feel small. So, what did he want? He's promoting me. Congratulations. I'm sorry. Why? I'm so happy for you. OK. And it got to a point where I normalized it over and over again. And it just made me realize how much hold these these ingrained power dynamics still have over us. Look into this. Let me know what you think. I'm still working on the three from before. OK, I'll make this one the priority. It's something that I felt like I needed to put on screen because it's something we, we can't even talk about. Can I buy another? Now that you're making more money than me. <laughs> oh. What are you doing? You know it's just a game. You played very well. I didn't know anything about the finance world. I had some friends in that world, but at the same time, it, you know, while it being so foreign to me, it also felt like a place like I, I could also understand what it is to work in a high stakes environment. Having directed a lot in TV, you know, the the highs and lows that you experience uh, of the high stakes nature of, of, of that work. There is a lot of money on the table on any given day. So I felt like I could organically tap into that world even though I, I didn't know anything about it, you know? And then from there, it was just like learning a new language. I don't think it's a good idea. We both can't keep working here. I'm not quitting. This firm has become my religion. You have become my God. You give me this opportunity, I will give you everything I got. The movie wouldn't work if if the if we didn't believe them as a couple and we didn't love them as a couple first and foremost. We have to love them to to stay with them, you know, and and to watch you know watch the unraveling. When I met with Phoebe and and I watched her work, I think it was pretty instant that I knew that she was right for Emily. And then with Alden, I just you know he's been an actor that's been on my radar for a while. What he was going to bring to the role, you know, the duality of emotions, you know, the of conflicting desires, you know, and, and, and the pain that I think he brought to the role that, that actually made the character very empathetic at times that normally maybe you wouldn't have empathized with him. And I think that that's the far more interesting version of the film. I never got the shot. This job, it's killing us. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. We want to know, what would you have asked? Let us know in the comments below. And if you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, for more videos like this, hit the Emma HTV logo right here. And for the next awesome video, click right there.